Hello there, everyone, and welcome to Victoria 2 once again. I'm your host, Sultan Mokalever. And right now, we're taking a look at, you know, England, and they don't want us to invade. They're getting it blockaded by the Norwegians, but hey, things gotta go. Actually, if you see it right down here, uh, let's see, we've increased our relations with the French, better relations, of course, but on December 11th, the Soviet Union accepted the peace offer from the German Empire. So it finally took until this time to peace them out, in which the Soviet Union acquired Kharkov. So hopefully we'll see the dismantlement of the German Empire. Some of the comments included from yesterday's video include, um, play CK3 some more sometime. I will. I do plan on playing some more CK3 and putting it on the channel sometime. Not sure when, but eventually. As well as plays Japan. I've played Japan in Vic Oh, wow. South Han Patriots. Wow. I guess we're allied to these Chinese too. But yeah, uh, plays Japan. I played them, played them once in vanilla. I hopefully will play them in HPM again sometime. Not sure when, but Baratheon is looking not too bad. But Mongolia, hmm. Regardless, we gotta make a decision here. How are we going to invade these guys? I'm gonna put. I already have two armies here ready to go. That's a 60,000 stack. I kinda wanna invade down here and here, just so that way we can leave southwest England open for us to ferry troops in. So I'd like to take out both of these armies here, but we'll see what happens. So. All of you guys, let's head over here, take these guys out, defend these provinces, and hold this province as well. So let's see what happens. Um, I'm not sure why we're having attrition for the, for the navy, but we'll see what happens. And these are only 3,000 soldiers, so it shouldn't be too bad. But we do gotta kill off England. There we go. There we go. Alright, so immediately, I'm gonna go ahead and send you guys back home. So we can get these extra 60,000 soldiers. We're trying to make more armies as well. I made a lot more armor. One, two, three, four, five... And then we got guys over here just to fill out the ranks. And we have one, two, three. We got we need even a little bit more armor as well. So there you go. Very good. Oh crap! No, oh, they threw in soldiers here. I knew they would do something like that. Um, but now we're defending. Oh boy. Well, this is not going to go very good now, is it? If you want to retreat, we could probably retreat into here because we are def technically defending. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll go okay. We aren't entrenched at all. Well, actually we are a little bit entrenched right there. Treaty of oh, there we go. Treaty of Berlin. If we're going to treat into there, that'd be great. Um, and finally, Germany was dismantled. Well, it's honestly not that bad, actually, if you look at it. They still have... Well, there's Bohemia Moravia. Silesia. Very good. And... We have Poznan. We've got... Pomerelia. We got Schleswig, uh, just, not Holstein, but Schleswig. As well as Danzig. Wow. That's a bit wild, I, I would have to say. Lithuania, hey, they broke free of the German influence. Very good, very good. Uh, they're in the French, uh, not the French, but the Japanese sphere for some reason. Czechoslovakia exists as well, which is fine. I really hope that we didn't send our guys to death. Cool, cool, cool. And Belarus is looking god-awful. And Lithuania. Oh, actually, we can increase relations with you guys. Basically, yes, we can. Good. I'll be honest, I'm really worried about these guys. Retreat, 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 retreat. Please retreat. Please retreat. Come on. Come on. Why can't we retreat? I don't know why we can't retreat. This is so dumb. Why can't we retreat? Seriously. That's so stupid. That is beyond stupid. You should be able to retreat into this battle here. Oh, man. Not going great for us. Our ships are back. Get on them, ships, boys. There we go. Yes, that's stupid. You should be able to retreat into another battle. Like, that doesn't make any sense why you can't. Ugh. At least way forward you can do that. Alright, let's come back over here. And do this. And so you guys... Are gonna be holding these guys. Which is fine. For now, but still. There we go, you're on the boat. You guys probably aren't feeling good. I'm sending you in. I'm gonna to have to keep reinforcing this area here. Oh! Well, that's hopefully okay. Let's see what happens. Good, good, good. Ships are almost here, and time to deploy more soldiers. That's fine. There we go. Throw the soldiers in. Oh, good, good, good. Still minus one. They got a really good dash roll, though. Uh, you guys... Are you, doesn't look like... Oh, they, they landed. That is excellent. Come down here. Very nice. I'm going to put you in... Uh, not in Gallipoli. I'll put you guys here, though, actually. Do we have any more armor? Yes, we do. That's good. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And how much more armor do we have? Yes, we have enough.
even if we lose a battle, it's still it's still possible to win the the uh, war because of the amount of damage we're doing. Good. And I'm gonna leave these guys here to help siege them out still. So they might throw more soldiers in, or hopefully they don't. But they're losing a ton of guys, even though we are as well. So they have slightly more soldiers. Whatever. I think we'll do okay. Germany, you probably really don't like us, but that's alright though. So now they are still second in the world. Not bad. And I guess the French are trying to fight the Spanish. I don't really care, I'll be honest. Don't really care too much about them. For now at least. Good. You guys are down here too. Both of you are going to head on in. It's boat time. Bearing lots of soldiers over here. And then... Another 30,000 stack. Don't mind if we do. We're ready for the next pickup. And you guys. Well, we don't have enough engineers for that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I have to throw you guys over there, so be it. And we're still making more art armor, so. We got plenty of infantry. It's just armor. Alright, so now they're really lacking. They're probably going to throw even more soldiers in. They have only 17 horses left. Wow. I um, mean, we're doing a lot of damage. They don't have a dash roll. Oh, now they have a dash roll. But, come on. Oh, they're going to throw even more soldiers in. That sucks. Oh, hello. So you guys, go back and pick up the 60,000 stack. That'd be good. Because I will throw as many soldiers in here as needed. We will not lose this battle, I swear to God. Throw them in. Just funneling soldiers in and out, in and out, in and out. Because these guys did mobilize, and that's hurting their economy. They're only ninth in the world still, but, you know, whatever. Good. Actually, in this battle, is it possible to get some uh, shore bombardment? Intervene eventually for Shiwa. It's fine. Ship-wise, we our guys move fast, which is awesome. There you go. Another group coming in. Nice, nice. Now they're losing even more soldiers. Go ahead and swap them out. There you go. Gallipoli, ah, uh, fine. I don't think we'll be able to go to war with Ukraine anyway, so... Not anytime soon. And I don't really plan on doing it anyway, so there you go. There you go. Armor. Even more soldiers. And then they're going to be throwing even more soldiers into this battle. Oh, that's a really nice dash roll. Now they got some more cavalry too, but we got lots of artillery. They're going to throw more soldiers in. Yep, they are going to do it soon. Another 135,000 soldiers are going to die. But that's alright. Since we're on defense. There you go. 200,000 soldiers. It's not enough. Uh, you know what? Just combine you guys. It doesn't matter. I mean, these guys want a very, very long war for some reason. So whatever. We'll give it to them. Next up. Next up. Well, be a little bit more careful than that. There you go. Oh, UK. How many boys are you going to throw away? How many hundreds of thousands of soldiers? I mean, we're losing quite a few guys, too, but still. I would hate to be the infantry here. Ooh, more admin efficiency? National Banking Act? Why not? We're in the middle of a, a war. Not a global war, but a war. While our government has for some time maintained a central bank, vo some voices within the economic debate have begun arguing in favor of monopolizing the issuing of currency to a strict government prerogative. Proponents argue that this will lead to an increase in economic stability, while other opponents see it as a fundamental breach of the freedom of trade. Yes, we lose some money. We got actually not that much money. Low interest, tax efficiency, support savings, tariff efficiency. Yes, please. And we will do create Transcaucasia eventually. I promise you on that. This battle is going to literally last years. We want. Let's grab some of this. Maybe he gets us a little bit more money. Let's add up to maybe a little bit. We got taxing just a slight bit more, slight bit more. Maximum tariffs. Oh, look at that. War indemnities too. I love that. All right, guys in the boat, head on off. And the la this, this will not be the last war we do, because there's one more war I want to do. <clears throat> oh, Bahraini? I knew there were going to be rebels eventually. 
Um, let's see, you guys gotta do this. Uh, oh, we're making even more guys. You know what, if that's a case, I'm gonna have you guys be patrols for, so that'd be good. And you know what, you guys be patrols as well. I'll put you guys down here for now. You guys can combine, you guys are already combined. Uh, I'm not gonna put you as doing that though. You know what, just head on down here first, it's fine. Stay here, because there's quite a few rebels. Tensions dissipate, that's good. Actually, let's get like, a look at this. Ah, Greece, good. That part of Greece is done. Actually, I want to finally put in more workers here, because Adana, they have so many open slots here. It's not even funny, so get more workers. Oopsie, my bad. Get more craftsmen. Oh, we can't do this. Oh, intellectuals. There you go, good luck. Well, they threw in 130,000 more soldiers. Good luck with that, guys. Let's see you guys. You guys, head on back and uh, try to get some more guys. See what you can do. And actually, if that's the case like this, you guys hit it both There you go. Not bad, not bad. Still losing a lot of money, which I don't like. I could cut down on maybe some of the naval production, perhaps? Even though, I'm pretty sure this is all the costs are going to national stockpile purchases, which we can't really do since I'm probably buying a lot of stuff anyways. Um, I'm not going to lower that. I would love to lower social spending even more, but we can't really do that right now. We would lower education just by a slight, but just like 5%. Doesn't help out that much, but you know what, I'll take whatever I can get for now. So many dead British boys. Why would you do this? So many, like, they're, they're just guys armed with guns. That's all they have, literally. Germany, would you like high relations after we dismantled oh, dismantled your empire a little bit? You should like us a little more, right? Is that how it works? Ah, oh, good. Bahrain, go down. You guys, head on in. Good luck, guys. I still have hundreds of thousands of soldiers left. Good. And actually, come just come to the actual port here. How about that? Yeah, see, they want to come in. Yeah. We dismantled them so hard. Um, I'm not understanding this. Hold on. But they want to join our alliance. So they got Elslas. But Germany got Kolmar. Okay. And they help me fight against these evil, you know, Brits. Oh, God, that sucks. Whatever. Yeah, we got we got to get more money. Okay, at this point, come on, seriously. Oh, that actually hurt us even more. I will cancel subsidies if we need to, but you know what? We just got to stay afloat in terms of money. So, there we go. That helped out a little bit. I don't want to tax these guys too much, so. I just want a little bit of green. Just a little bit of green. I don't need that much green. Just a little bit. Heart of Darkness. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. About at least this quote. The Ottoman Empire is in shock as major, major European newspaper publisher reports today on the conditions of one of our colonies. Brutal mistreatment of natives. Corporal punishment. Repeated instances of bodily mutilations all have been established. Some sort of maintaining colonial order in the colony. In mines and on plantations which have all been kept outside the influence of the colonial office through an elaborate system of bribes and corruption. We apologize for nothing. Uh, we accept full response. I'm gonna do this one just because I wanna save my infamy because after the war's over we might actually get some more stuff here, so. Actually, do we have any- ooh, we don't have any planes. We get no recon. We definitely need more planes. There we go. There we go. There we go, and... I'm saying everyone in, but <laughs> actually Turkish guys. Serbs can fight, Bosniaks can fight, but Turks? No, 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 no. We have almost... Our percentage of Turkish people has been slowly rising in the past couple years. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, nudge. Uh, where's my ships? Oh, there we go. There we go. I'll give him another day. I'll let him heal up, maybe rest up just a little bit. Beautiful. A little better. Alright. You guys head on over here now. 
Uh, actually, we'll head on over there. Um, what are you guys just kind of hanging out, huh? Express us now. Casual terrorism. I don't like casual terrorism. You know, this is like fun to me. How are you guys doing over here? Armor. Uh, no recon yet. It's okay. I mean, we'll throw in as many soldiers as we need to, so it doesn't really matter to me. Wow, we got a really bad dice roll there. I don't really care. What's the war score like for us right now? Minus 8%? Oh, that's not good. A oh, Mexican Liberation in California. Oh, wow. Good luck, guys. Good luck. You're going to need it. Well, even if we don't get extra recon, it's okay. Five, one, two. Combine, get on the boat. Let's head on in. Oh, wow, we're making a bunch more money now. That's okay, guys. That's okay. That's okay. Get the worst of the troublemakers. That's good. And now you guys, keep them there for now. Our guys are almost there, though. Now you guys can leave. I'm not sure who else to call in, though. I mean, we already took these guys. We're looking pretty good down there. I want to save at least one or two armies per location. So, you guys can come up next. And we need way more armor, still. Go take some time. America? You don't really like us, America. That's okay. You're actually mobilized. Wow. You guys, increase relations because we can. UK is not doing great. Oh, their industry is... Score has fallen by one play so far. That's it in Bessarabia. Suppress this. That'd be good. Um, we need to make sure... Oh, looks like they are getting besieged there, maybe? Maybe it's over here. Maybe we need that area, too. Come on, decisively lose. It, this is the only battle that we really need to win here. That's literally it. Just this one battle. Now, they, they're probably throwing more and more soldiers... We'll see what happens. Uh, sure. Plus none. Why not? That's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys, too. We got a bunch of artillery. Come on, can we get a better dash roll, please? Please, 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 please. Kenyan economics? Not probably a huge fan of that, but maybe? Russia's goods? Maybe more money? Oh, look at that. What is that? Eh, I don't even care. If that's the case... Wrap this back up a little more. It's barely anything, so. Belgium. There we go. Even better, slightly better education efficiency again. What's going on with Germany down here? Denounce it. Oh. Germany, who are you fighting? Nobody? Oh, okay, well, whatever. We're probably going to throw more soldiers in here, but that's pretty much all we're going to do. So I will see you maybe once we win the battle and we can see the casualties. Well, 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 the bla the battle, the battle, the battle of Plymouth has resulted. They had started with 800,000. We started with a little under 300,000. And, uh, well, that's 800,000 dead British boys. Literally every single one of them died. We got 139 war score. We did lose about 150,000 soldiers. So about half of our soldiers were killed initially. Actually, no, 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 no. We started with 440,000, so roughly half the size. We lost 150,000, so we ended up with slightly under 300,000. This is... That is... That is crazy. And actually, Bayesian Land came back into the war for some reason. I don't know why. Is there anything else I could add here? I mean, we could, but... Let's go and do this. Ugh! And you know what? We've waited long enough. Let's go ahead and create Transcaucasia. Why not? The nations of the Southern Caucasus must be united together in a vassal that will serve as a loyal, mighty ally to our country. Boomerinos? Make Sunni Islam the official religion in Transcaucasia? The Sunni minorities have long been oppressed in Transcaucasia. The Senate exerted their power in the region and put them to power so Transcaucasia religious policy is unison with ours. Nice. We got more accepted cultures, not too bad. And African farms and mines, don't mind if we do. I want to see what's going to happen to the UK since we won this battle. And now we're probably going to suffer quite a bit of attrition, which is going to suck, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I guess you guys are going to head on home first. Totally fine. Our guy's looking pretty bad. Also, Poland. What the? Okay, so earlier, I saw that they annexed Silesia, but now they annexed... Uh, was it Pomerelia? Oh, I gotta play as Poland sometime. That seems like a, a lot of fun. 
Because they just annexed all the people that basically popped out of the war when we tried to dismantle Germany. So that is actually kind of wild. And actually, culturally, that makes some sense, but not a lot of Especially this, this is making sense. There's mostly just Germans here instead of Poles, but whatever. What happened here? Okay, whatever. Transcaucasia? Oh, oh my gosh! Okay, they took a lot more than I thought they would. That is not ideal, actually. I really should... I didn't realize we, they'd take all of this. Um... Alright, I mean, we didn't go to Persia in this campaign, but you know what? This gives us a... Actually, I would say a pretty strong buffer nation against the Russians. Actually, does Transcaucasia have any claims in here? That would actually be kind of cool. The Treaty of London! Well, I don't think really much has happened there. The war is over. With the war finished, the Ottoman people have taken to the streets of Istanbul in celebration. That's all the war has been heavy, but today the Ottoman Empire is simply happy to be at peace. Pretty good. We make 8,000, 12,000. Alright, let's go ahead and lower this by quite a bit as well. I don't want this to cost us too much, so... That's fine, we can lower spending as well. I don't want to go to war anytime soon-ish. So do that, do that. Leave construction high, that's fine. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of money. Uh, that's, that is a uh, lot of money. Yeah, some of these guys are have been brutally beaten. I mean, some of these guys are really, really good and all, but still. Uh, not you. But you guys. Head on home. To Greece. Very, very good. And at this point, because of that modifier, we... I, Like I said in the last episode, ooh. We'll be in 1938, probably 1939, when we will go ahead and do one more last war. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, we are now at the last little part of this campaign. Which now, we have our justification for Oman. We might as well go ahead and go to war. And, oh boy, America does not like that, but we'll see what happens, calling our allies. We've lost some allies, we've gotten some allies, so we shall see what happens. Nobody wants to come into this. So be it. If you want to ally these guys, that's fine with me. Uh, they're just not going to live to see the day of this. Please, America, don't join the... And every one of our allies has gone on. Actually, right now, let's do the war. So this is the Second Great War, basically World War II, with the Soviets and the Germans allied together, versus the Traza, the Dutch, the French, the Maltese... Manchurians, the Japanese, and the Finns. We also have our war, of course. We have the 15th War of Chinese Reunification, which isn't going very well for the Dutch, or I mean the Dutch, the Norwegians, as well as the Southern Chinese. Well, versus a whole host of other people. And we have the Mexican Liberation of Texas, led by the Japanese, and is that the Italians? No, that's Mexico. Mexico and the Japanese versus America and her allies, and the Brazilian Civil War, but... I, I don't want to get involved with a lot of that stuff. I mean, look at this. So, Germany and France are killing each other, of course. And actually, Britain fell to the Liberal Party. Yet, as you can tell, there's a lot of communists here in the British Isles. And the United Baltic Duchy Wells well, looking a little red right now themselves. Um, Manchuria isn't looking good. Southeast Asia is looking like a gigantic mess. And how's... Oh, actually, California's gone. That Repu California Republic's gone, and America also took out New England, so they're looking a little better. They really hate us. And Mexico is fighting for Texas. So nothing in the world has really changed too much. Um, Brazilian so Is that really the Civil War? What happened down here? Argentina, when did you take out... When did you become communist, and when did you take out this part of Bolivia? That's actually a really cool flag. It's a very cool flag. Other than that, uh, I believe I did ally with these guys, but as you saw, they didn't... Want to stay our allies? The world's a giant mess, and Poland ever always seems to get it seems to be getting larger and larger. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. I just want to go to Oman. Like, can we just have a good little end of the campaign? I don't want to get involved in the Second World War. I mean, we did really well. We did extraordinarily well. We'll never be able to catch up to everyone else in terms of industry, and by everyone else, I mean Germany, because and America too. America and Germany have actually pretty close in industrial power, but. Prestige-wise, we outpace er literally everyone in the world. No one else in the world has over a thousand prestige. We have almost six thousand. Our military is literally the largest in the world. Norway gets close, but they're mobilized. Soviet Union is literally roughly half of ours, as well as Japan. So Germany's looking really bad too. Sure, I'm basically at this point the global power here, so I'm not feeling too bad about that. Sure, why not? I can imagine why America don't want to get in this wall in involved in this war, especially since they're already fighting the Japanese. So. Good, good, good. Number one power in the world. Anarcho-liberal seized power in China. Well, that's interesting. But yeah, I know some of the guys want me to take out Norway, take out France. Especially get Morocco, but I don't know. At this point in the campaign, I'm just like, eh, I'm a little tired of it. I need a little bit of a break from Victoria too. So, it is what it is. 
And we're losing a lot of money, but I don't really care. It's all just national stock while purchases. 20,000. Oh my goodness. Social spending is actually 15,000 pounds, which is quite a bit, I'd say. But hey, whatever. But finally, we can have almost all of the Arabian Peninsula under us, which would be a great thing. Oh, we want a tiny piece of India, I forget as well. And I don't want to forget, I will show you the culture map mode. There we go. And let's break into the new decade. How about that? Oh, not too much conservative support, but hey, who cares? And it's time to uh, Ottoman Congo. Beautiful, yes. A natural part of our empire. So here we are. That looks great. I'm so glad we got all of the Arabian Gulf. That took quite a while up to the end of the game. But happy 1940. What do we have here? African farms and mines. Don't mind if we do. Yes, please. There's nothing else down there. All right. Now let's take a look at population. Now our total population in 1940 as the Ottoman Empire for this campaign is 223 million. More than a fifth of our population is Turkish. Now, as time was going on, as we were conquering more and more lands, it went further and further down, but... What is this? Can pay for straight working conditions? Oh, whatever. Um, just... We're doing really well. That is the largest culture group we have here. And I'll show you the map mode for everything as well. These are the reforms we ended with. We got acceptable pensions. Good pensions would have been really good to get. Good to get. We did not get to good safety regulations, whatever. We didn't get to an 8-hour workday, so our guys are working 14 hours a day. Whatever. But this... This is a lot of fun. Alright, th that's a beautiful empire. I didn't really do too much in Asia, though. Which was kind of disappointing, I suppose, but... Eh, we did relatively okay, I think. Anything else around here? I mean, this is... China. Yeah, that's a lot of different cultures there, too. Mongol, Manchu, North Han, South Han, Min Zhuang. Who's this? Oh, the Chinese got Africa! Oh, is this... That sounds very, very modern. Uh, like 2020, 2021 type of deal. But, here we go. Here's a culture map mode. It's a giant mess, but the Balkans are looking significantly more Turkish. Look at this. So beautiful. Over here, 41%. It's not great. It's not bad. It's almost 50% Turkish here. And Tulsia? Bulgaria. Oh my goodness. I would say at least a third of Bulgaria is heavily Turkish. Even Sofia. It's 47%. And even though we don't have majorities over here, like, we, you could consider, like, we would be, like, not genociding, but we're real. We're real, if we kept at this pace, we would replace Bulgaria or Bulgarians with Turkish peoples in Bulgaria, which is awesome. Also, obviously, Macedonians are doing pretty darn well. We got Turks all over the place. Serbians, Bulgarians, Albanians are majority over there. Maj vast majority are Turkish in southern Serbia. Just my goodness. And even areas that don't have Turkish majorities, there's still a significant Turkish population. Bosnia, we never really got into too much, which kind of sucked. We do have some slight Turks here and there. It's always a light pink one, of course. Um, Croatia, looking slightly Turkish. Some, a few minorities of in Albania. Some Beudin, Bulgarians, Greeks. Uh, Salonika's doing pretty well. Kavala's doing pretty well. You know, it's split between Greeks, Bulgarians, and Turkish folks. Uh, over here's not too bad. Uh, we still got a good chunk of Greeks over here. Greece proper? I mean, look at that. Like this area. Amphiza. Uh, 29% of the population is Turkish, so... I'll be honest, like, converting cultures and, like, seeing population shifts is one of my favorite things ever, so... Doing this is a lot of fun. Crete? If there was ever a war between the Greeks and the Turks, it would end in so much bloodshed. Uh, cool. Cool. That's pretty much half and half. Uh, even Cyprus is doing pretty darn well. Lots of Turks down here. Um, North Africa, not so much. Whatever, you know. Uh, but Anatolia, oh my goodness. Even the Kurds are slowly getting replaced. Like, oh my goodness. This is so much fun looking at this stuff. Majority Turks, majority Turks. Uh, did these guys have any Turkish? I think they had a few Turkish guys in here. Not that many, though. But a lot of Kurdish lands. There's still a lot of Kurds. But as you can tell, there's quite a few Turks around here, too. This place is heavily Turkish. Baghdad? No, is, that, is that Baghdad? No. Well, I mean, the, the you know, region of Baghdad. But Rutba? Not that many Turks around here. Uh, over there. It's very cool. Lots of Turks all over the place. Even over here. Like, if we had enough time, all of the Saudi Arabian Gulf, or Saudi Arabian Peninsula, Arabian Peninsula, would become Turkish. Like, majority Turkish in all provinces. Because even in places like this, Abu Dhabi, with a lot of oil, some oil. I mean, it is... And we just conquered Oman, so that's why it's not that good yet, but... There's a lot of Brits still down here. I, if I were them, I probably would have left already. But that is really awesome. Even this area. Slowly getting more Turks. This place is heavily Turkish. So 
Really, really awesome. And not too much in Africa. Um, we saw this earlier, so these are all majority, well, out of all culture groups, majority Turkish. Which is really cool. Anywhere else? I don't think so. We have those groups. We have those groups. Uh, no, not too much, but I, I'm really liking how this ended up. Especially the Balkans. That is so good for more Turkish people there. If we really want more Turkish people. Love it, love it, love it. And Asia? Not too much happened really over here. Really not much at all. There's really not that much anything else. But I guess that's probably going to be the campaign. I really hope you enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun. Loads and loads of fun playing as Ottoman Empire. Uh... Please let me know in the comments below who else should, I should try out for other campaigns. I would like to get to Di Dar Divergence of Darkness sometime, play some more CK3, you know, stuff like that. But regardless, if you enjoy the campaign, please consider leaving a like. It does help me out. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.